times But all the pretty girls come from VA And it's New York and MIA And it's PG and run my way So I'm never had to stay away Alone She gon' wear Ain't nobody gonna swing gon' be there Keep her on your cause she gon' wanna stay All the pretty girls wanna be gay Suck her in and find out She like one of mine and she mine now You just turn around and she gone now Shit now, shit away It is later on in the day. Today is April. Oh, did my Apple Watch die? Apple Watch is dead. Um, today is April 3rd, I want to say. Alexa, what's today? It's Thursday, April 4th. <laughs> okay, now she started playing music though. But today is April 4th, it's 3 or 8 p.m. I just got back from running around to like three or four different stores. So let's do a quick haul. So let's start off with Dollar Tree. So at Dollar Tree, I spent like $20 at Dollar Tree. I went to Dollar Tree. Five below Ross Marshalls and Kroger to pick up my groceries. So in a dollar tree, I spent like 20 the bucks. I just got a whole bunch of random stuff, some snacks because I was hungry in the store, and then just some stuff to kind of have in the house. Look at the my receipt, but oh here we go. Yeah, in Dollar Tree. I spent $26.55. I got me some crunch and munch. I haven't had it in a while and I kind of wanted it. So some crunch and munch. My favorite snapple, which is the fruit punch. Just to kind of have these in the fridge. Um, some of these peppered beef jerky snacks. Some animal crackers, feeling a little nostalgic up in the store. I always grab some Betty Crocker cookie mix. One teriyaki beef stick. That's the only one it had. And then I grab just some candles just because I need to have some candles in my house just in case like power outages and stuff like that. Just getting the stuff that everybody's saying to get for this eclipse. I don't know why people think it's gonna be so bad. Like, am I under reaction, under, underreacting? I feel like people are overreacting, I don't know. But I got it just in case they wanted something that I'm not. <laughs> so I got just some candles. One is a linen, one is an apple cinnamon smell. They're okay. I don't think they'll have any throw because they're Dollar Tree candles. Some double, sorry, triple A batteries for like flashlights and things. Okay. Just some stick deodorant. And then I got just four of these bigger candles because these are like the small ones. I also got some tea light. I realized I forgot one thing in there. It's cool. Some tea light candles as well. And then I got two packs of just some baby wipes. You know. It's, yeah, but that's everything that I got from Dollar Tree. So, let's push this all on dish out of the counter. Okay. And while I'm moving this, I did go to Marshall's and Ross 
They didn't have anything, y'all. I'm looking for stuff for the entertainment stand to kind of like clutter it up and fill it up. Some fake plants, some like nice little artsy pieces, like sculptures and things like that. I cannot find anything that I like. So I'm gonna have to hit Amazon. I definitely wanna check out at home too, but I haven't found anything. And I tried a different, I tried a different Ross and Marshalls and still nothing. So I got me some from the hair store. I had to stop and get me some more jam so that I can braid my hair. I went to Starbucks and got cheese danish and uh, mocha, iced mocha. This was like $13. And then inside below, I spent like $20. Bucks. Let's see. And five below, I spent $33.56. I got um, a 10 foot. USB-C cable in black. I got me a new band for my Apple Watch because this one is, I've had it since I bought the Apple Watch and it's falling apart. So a new band. Just some headphones for work, my work computer. Um, a USB-C block. Because I felt like if I was getting a charger, I was going to get the block. And then, hmm, what cost the lot that I got? Our other thing was $5. Oh, I got some three pack of the tree, new car, the little trees, new tree. You know the little trees for the freshener that you put in your car? I got a three pack of that, <laughs> but it's in the car. And I got these black sandals. I thought they were cute. I wish it wasn't like a plasticky rubber type of material. I wish it was kind of like matte black and not shiny, but I think these are cute. So I went ahead and got these. I was in between the size. I, was trying to get the eight nine, but I felt like my foot was like, I don't know, just I think my foot was pushing it, so I just went ahead and got a size up. So these are a little big, but it's gonna be okay. <laughs> I'd rather have it a little too big than a little too small. I don't know. I mean, I guess if you get it a little too small or perfect size, then as you wear them in, it'll stretch. I did what I did. These are on my counter because they haven't been walked in, so because I don't believe in shoes on the counter, but that's what I got from five below. Um, move this stuff to the side. I have wrote a list, y'all, on the index card. So, and then lastly is my grocery order. Um, I spent one fifty seven. My total was, let's give you the facts first. Now it was about to butt down roadside assistance. Um, I went to Kroger today. I know y'all told me I had to take a break from H-E-B because that last time I went in there gave me too much anxiety. <laughs> but I ordered my groceries at Kroger my subtotal was 2.0669. I saved thirty-four dollars and four cents in coupons and sales, and then I saved fifteen dollars off. They had like a fifteen dollar off coupon as well. So in total, that was like fifty-three dollars. Fifty-three dollars I did not cent in total savings. Um, so my total was one fifty-seven eighty-two, which is pretty great. I'm gonna pull out everything in just a second, but. Yeah, I saved about $54. That was great, if you ask me, great. Um, Cause they had a lot of good coupons like Tyson meats, like chicken thighs, it was buy one, get one free. Did I only get one chicken thigh when it was buy one, get one free? Bruh. No, no, yeah, I got two. Tyson's chicken thighs, Tyson's meats. So the chicken thighs was buy one, get one free. So I got two packs and I only spent $6.28 on it. Um, they had some chicken breast tenderloins. They were buy one, get one free. So I got two packs for only $7.97. Um, they had some drums, but I'm not a drum person. So I just didn't get them. If they had wings, then I would've got the wings. But let's go ahead and pull out everything so I can show you what we got. Chicken 
chicken thighs. Oh, and I also had another really big coupon, which was for Rotel. Um, if you buy the Velveeta cheese block, you got two cans of Rotel and tortilla chips for free. So definitely put that in the cart. All right guys, so I've unpacked everything from my Kroger haul. So let's kind of go through it and then let's put it away. So starting out, I got me some russet potatoes, some eggs, three pounds, or three pounds. Yeah, three pounds of ground turkey. I'm gonna split this up into one pound bags because I'm one person. <laughs> I know the reason why I'm cooking three pounds of ground turkey at once. Um, I got me two packs of these chicken breast tenderloins. Again, these were buy one, get one free. So I got two, as well as two packs of chicken thighs. These were buy one, get one free. So I got two. I got my favorite white cranberry strawberry juice from Kroger. This is so delicious. Favorite dupe for like, you know, the cran apple, cran, whatever, whatever, um, ocean spray. This is really good, try that one. I got some honey wheat bread. Um, I got two jugs of vanilla almond milk. I got some Rotel because again, when I bought the Velveeta cheese block, it came with two free cans of Rotel. I got the mild and some tortilla chips, but I'll show you those in a second, but that all came free, so. Got this. I got some Mexican cheese, Parmesan cheese, and Italian cheese. Um, a half gallon of 2% milk, some more oatmeal, um, old fashioned, and then I got some more American cheese, some more butter. I should have got two of these, but yeah. Um, I got some tuna fish. They were a dollar a can, so I got 10 cans. Um, I went ahead and got me some soup. Got me five cans of soup because they were like a dollar eighty with the coupon each. So spicy chicken noodle, homestyle chicken, chicken noodle, beef pot roast, beef pot roast, and vegetable. Also got me some more garlic powder, onion powder, some black ground black pepper, and some hot honey. Love, love, love hot honey. This one is really good some sweet relish for the tuna i don't think they i used to always buy sweet salad cubes but i don't think they make sweet salad cubes anymore so sweet relish um some more sugar these are the soups that we already talked about gotta get me some dinner yeast rolls these are the best dinner yeast rolls so delicious um i got me some ice cream sandwiches two boxes of those um a cucumber two green peppers, two yellow onions, some Miracle Whip, some uh, salmon. These were on sale as well. I forgot how much off. These were the tortilla chips that came free with the Velveeta cheese block in the hotel. Some baby carrots, re-upping on my pastas. I got a box of fettuccine, a box of spaghetti, two red onions, a box of beef ramen noodles, um, a penne pasta, bow ties, forgot to get the sausage, but it's okay. And then some Lipton tea, and of course, some Oreos. And lastly, I got two, two of these cases of water. Uh, these are the 24 count bottles. They were um, 250 each. It was like, four for 10 for like lacrosse and Kroger brand waters. So yeah, it was four for 10 for the lacrosse boxes and then the Kroger brand water, the 24 counts. I had a 40 count in my cart, but it was 597 and getting the two 24 counts, which would give me 48 bottles of water was $5. So I saved about 97 cents doing it this way, which is fine. So I just went ahead and got two of those um, so yeah, I'm going to prop you guys up and try to quickly load up the fridge and the cabinet 
and yeah that's everything i got i think we did pretty good for 157 like again it was 205 206 basically before all the taxes and the savings i saved 53 dollars 99 cents total that's why i love kroger okay because the sales be selling i don't know heb don't be giving me sales like that i feel like in comparison kroger just be krogering i don't know i feel like i want to spend 200 dollars in kroger that day anyway oh i forgot to get wine it's okay it's okay but yeah, so let's go ahead and put this stuff away. But yeah, what y'all think? This is pretty good in my mind for $157. Like, countertop is full. And I tried to go for pantry items as well to kind of get my pantry up, my pantry game up. And as you can see, I ain't getting no yogurt. I told y'all I was yogurt out for a little bit and we still rocking on that yogurt out for a little bit. And in my fridge, I didn't get my normal like i didn't get normal the applesauce and the pudding cups that i normally would because i still have some of these in here now so yeah so i didn't go ahead and get any more of those because i still have pudding cups and your applesauce left over so let's put everything away Yeah. 
off the wall, I can't take me off the map. I'm trying to hit the group chat and tell them it's all rap. All right, y'all, it's sometime later. Um, it is now cellular out, coma record. Y'all remember that progressive commotion, commercial? Was it progressive? What was a pothole? Anyway, it's irrelevant. It's 6.01 p.m. Um, I have been chilling. I put the groceries away. I separated my meat so I can freeze it. Um, I was gonna make something with chicken tonight for dinner but i decided to go ahead and make some tuna fish instead so i just had me a tuna sandwich and now i am sitting on the couch um honestly i need to start my hair but because there's an event that I want to go to this weekend. But I got to figure out what day I want to go. It's the Foodie Land event out here in Texas. Um, out here in Houston this, this weekend. I think it's April 5th through the 7th. And I want to go. It's three days. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I was thinking about going tomorrow. Because I felt like tomorrow wouldn't be as many people. But being that I haven't done my hair. Let me show you what I'm working with. Like, oof. Oof, let me take all that off. Oh. <laughs> this is what I'm working with right now. I did go ahead. I look so crazy. I went ahead and parted my hair last night. You probably can't even tell. Like, I did all of my rows. I just didn't do my individual braids because I didn't have no jam. Like, the last time I did my hair, I was, I must have been like done because the the container of jam that I put in the cabinet was empty. It was like a little finger swoop, tracing it around the side of the container and that was it. So last time I did my hair, I was, when I was done, I was done. <laughs> I was just throwing stuff, putting stuff away and not thinking too much about it. But yeah. So I still need to do my individual braids. I may sit here on the couch and do it. Like I can put on like a movie or something. Get my small mirror out the bathroom. And just, you know, start individual braiding it now. That way tomorrow, only thing I need to do is put the locks in and wrap it. But I'm thinking as long as I get up at like 12 o'clock tomorrow, I feel like my hair should be done by five. Because I've already done the parts. So I feel like it'll probably take me like an hour and a half, two hours to do the individual braids. I don't think I'm gonna braid it all the way down. I think I'll braid the top part and then twist the bottom just so that it'll go faster. <coughs> I just choked up my own spit. Anyway, um, but yeah, I think I'll just braid the tops and then twist the bottom so that it'll go a little bit faster because my hair, my hair is longer than the actual braids will be. So I'm gonna have to like, fold it in half when I do it and figure that out. <clears throat> like if I braid it and then twist it and then I take it and I crochet, like use the crochet hook to attach it, then I think I'll be good. And then I can just slip this inside the lock and wrap if needed. Yeah, we'll see. I'm hoping everything goes <clears throat> smoothly, no issues. And yeah, <clears throat> I was gonna try to get that done today, but being that, you know, I did some other stuff today, which shout out to me for going out and being about day one of my cycle because my cycle be so painful, so heavy, so un not unbearable because I'd be bearing it, but like, oof, it would just be in the way and it'd be given. We sitting at home all day, laying in the bed, taking pain medicine every six hours only six hour but anyway enough about that but yeah so i was out and about today so i'm proud of myself you know me my toxic trait is if i feel like i've done enough then i'll make every excuse to not do the rest of the things on my to-do list like if i feel like i've accomplished enough in one day then that's all i'm doing it's no let's jump ahead or let's finish out the to-do list it's like you've done a lot and that's how i'm feeling right now <laughs> Y'all know me, I can't. Mm. Anyway, so yeah, I just did the dishes. I, load, well, I loaded the dishwasher. I just need to throw 
the pot from me boiling the eggs into the dishwasher and wash off the plate real quick and then I'll start that. While I'm sitting here though, I think I may like watching TV if I don't start braiding my hair, which I'm not, I already know, then I need to at least fold my clothes that are in my basket so I can put those away later. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm pretty much done for today. The boxes and stuff, I'm gonna take out to the trash tomorrow. And we may or may not leave the house tomorrow, depends on how far I get with my hair. I do wanna do something fun this weekend, like nighttime, see if there's any like thing going on or something like that. My sister was supposed to be in town tomorrow, but she hasn't said anything to me about it, so I don't know if she's still coming. And I've already asked once if she was coming. She was like, I'll let you know, I'm, going, I'm making a final decision. And that was like two days ago. So I felt like if you didn't say anything, then in my mind, that means you're not coming. So I guess I'll see if I'll get a text tomorrow or whatever, whatever. But I honestly don't think she's coming, which is fine. I'm just going to still do the things that I have planned to do, which is the Foodie Land Festival. Go there for like hour, two hours, trying different stalls. And then I want to find something fun to do at nighttime. Oh, there is like a poetry jazz thing but I think that's on Tuesday but I do want to like enjoy myself with these days off that I have so because <clears throat> I'm gonna be grinding when I go back to work to make up for the lost time but um yeah that's it that's all um so I'm gonna get off the camera so I don't sit here and look crazy like I do let's just um Let's throw this back on our head so we look a little less crazy. We look a little less crazy now. I feel like, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll talk to y'all later today, tomorrow, who knows, whichever one. But, you know, I don't know if I said this already, just in case this is the end of the video. Make sure you like comment and subscribe come on now we are working like every time i check my subscribers like when i sign into youtube to kind of see how things are going i'll see that's like 498 subscribers 499 subscribers 498 subscribers 499 like i've been going back and forth between 498 and 499 i don't know who is subscribing and unsubscribing? Stop it. <laughs> Just subscribe. Stay with me. Speaking of which, I don't think I checked it today. Let's see. How amazing would it be if we just hit 500 while I'm recording? 498. I lost that one person again. Dang. We're literally two subscribers away <laughs> from 500. Oh, somebody is playing with me i don't know who it is but the subscribers will go up and it'll go down so i do not know but it is what it is um hey guys this is deja from the future editing deja literally editing this video today which is april 13th it is like 7 08 p.m so it's this is me the day before um i just want to say we did in fact finally hit 500 and not only did we hit 500 finally we surpassed 500 like oh my god when I checked today we are at 550 and I just want to say thank you guys like thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you this is so amazing like I honestly can't believe we're at 500 past 500 at 550 now we're just trucking towards a thousand um but yeah i just want to say thank you guys like it really means a lot to to know that you guys like really vibe with me you check in with me every single week to watch my videos and you subscribe and you comment down below and we engage with each other like it really means a lot 
that, you know, we kind of do that and we have that relationship and we're growing closer and closer. Like I'm showing, I feel like I'm showing a lot of different sides of myself that I feel like I might've been a little nervous to show at first and I feel like I'm opening up a little bit more. And I don't know, I feel like we're just really growing with each other. And I just want to say thank you guys because though I also do this for me to kind of like showcase things and like, you know, try to find somebody out there that like going through similar things and encourage and things like that. It's nice to also feel seen and valued. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I love you and I can't wait to see where we grow from here on up. Like it's only gonna get better. Videos only gonna get better. Content only gonna get better. Our friendship, our love for each other only gonna get better. So that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> Y'all got me nervous, stop. <laughs> But yeah, definitely subscribe to the channel. I got some fun stuff coming, y'all. Unfortunately, Marshalls and um, Ross was a disappointment as far as home stuff. But your girl plan to just make some purchases and just test stuff out to see how I feel. Because so far, I haven't found anything that's like, oh my God, yes. Because one thing I want is of course a cord cover i don't have as many cords sticking out but when my tv gets mounted there will be more cords i want to get a nice little box or basket for the games that i have sitting under the entertainment stand some just nice little decor pieces and things like that i'm not going to get anything for the top shelf because right now the tv's on the top shelf um and i think i am going to move my big mirror over there and see how i feel about that and I gotta get this TV out of here and find me some bar stools. Bar stools are my next big purchase, my next major focus. And then it's bedding, like new bedding. Those are my next big purchases. Everything else I consider to be small purchases like decor in here, pillows for in here. Pillows can be expensive, but pillows in here, decor pieces for the entertainment stand. After I bought a bar stool, that's the big purchase. Bedding is probably going to be a big purchase. Curtains are not that big of a purchase. And then the next big purchase would be the bar cart and stuff like that. But I'm hoping by August, like I said, everything is done. I really would love by May everything to be done. But August for sure. I honestly don't think it's going to take me that long. It depends on how long it takes me to find bar stools, to be honest. But let's see, two months in May, June. I should definitely be done by August, but hopefully June. But let me stop rambling. Um, I'll see y'all guys tomorrow, where I'll catch you in my next video. Bye. Okay, y'all. It is. Ooh, can y'all see me? Okay, y'all. It is the next day. It is Friday, April fifth. It is like six p.m. Let me see. 6 to 1 p.m. I'm sitting on the couch. I braided my whole head up. Um, I started at like 2.15 and I finished around 4.30. So just a little bit over two hours to braid my hair. Um, I've just been chilling here now, waiting, not waiting, but like just trying to relax a little bit. And I'm about to go in here and braid my hair up some more. Um, the Foodie Land event starts tomorrow at 1 p.m. I think I kind of want to get there. Three-ish. Something like that. I still want to tint my brows, do my nails. If I don't do my nails tomorrow or today, then that's fine. But I definitely want to tint my brows and I'll do my lashes tomorrow morning. But yeah, and if I don't go tomorrow, then it is open on Sunday, but I really wanna go tomorrow. Um, but yeah, this is what my hair looks like. I don't know if I'll be able to, to show you the back with you actually seeing it. Can you see? I ate them parts up, y'all. Like, I was really bricking them with no mirror to see the back of my head. Like, I was really doing something, okay? Shout out to me. <laughs> so.
so yeah i'm gonna hope that you can see all that i'm showing you just gonna really hope <laughs> But yeah, I have no idea how many braids I have in my hair. All I know is my face is jammed up and I gotta be careful with that because I do not want it to break out anymore. But yeah, I'm about to probably start on my hair pretty soon here. I'm trying to like keep it pulled to the back so that excess jam don't get on my face and on my skin but yeah um since it's six i'm thinking to put the hair in and to wrap it it's probably gonna take me like three four hours being honest i'm hoping it takes two but probably takes three four hours because i have to try to tuck my hair into it hopefully less though so if i start at seven eight nine ten eleven i'll be done by eleven so yeah Right now, I'm about to eat something. Um, I forgot to get french fries. I kind of just want something quick, but I want something hot, and I don't want tuna. Tuna is what I got left over. So I may make some noodles or something. Oh, I have soup. I don't know. I'm about to throw something in something and eat real quick. Um, yeah and maybe watch like an episode of something i can find and yeah just chill okay the people out at the pool today and yeah i'll see you guys oh 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 guess what completely forgot i need to edit completely forgot i need to edit between today and tomorrow to post on sunday completely forgot I want to get my hair done tonight. I have time tomorrow because I don't think I'm going to be at the event all day. And I think it lasts until 10 p.m. So I'm going to prioritize doing my hair today and tomorrow after I do all the things I want to do. We'll edit. Yeah. That sounds like a better plan. But all right. Uh, let me stop rambling. I'll see you guys. Later, later. My hair growing though. It's growing back since I, I cut it. Especially that one piece of the front that I really cut my hair. This piece, taking out my faux locks last time, cut my hair real, real good. So, as you can see, some of it, most of it stops up here and then there's just some strands that's down here with the rest of my hair but yeah it's growing back <sighs> but i'll see you later don't fry me with my little braids these could be cute if i like did something to them but that's not what we're here for But okay y'all, I'm back. It's been quite a few hours later. Um, my hair is done. It came out cute. Um, it's 4.09 in the morning. It took me forever. I started at like 8, 9 o'clock, but I did it on the couch. Sitting down watching movies. I watched like two or three movies. Um, my knee just popped. I watched like two or three movies and I was taking breaks at eight, chilling, you know. I wasn't doing it like consecutively like that whole however many hours. Um, but yeah, it is done. I just put a little bit of my mousse that I had on hand in there, just on like the tops. And I'm gonna put mousse in it, the rest of it tomorrow, but I'm about to just throw a bonnet on and go to sleep. I realized after I had got to like the last row, that I wrap these tighter than I normally do. Normally I do them like a really loose wrap, like 
I skip so that some of my natural hair and braid peeks through a little bit. That way it kind of has more like of a distressed look. It's loose. I can like free move them around without too much discomfort. But this time, I don't know if I was distracted by the movies or what. But these things is tight. Okay, like they can stand up on their own. You seen, you 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 see it like they are tight. But it's cool. Like that just means they should last a little bit longer. Um, in the morning, I'm gonna cut it just a little bit and shape it. But yeah, I think it definitely came out super cute. Took me a second to get the hang of it because it does have like some curl pieces and I had to remember to pull out the curl pieces as I was wrapping it and realizing and figuring out how to tuck my hair into the braid because these are shorter than the length of my actual hair. So yeah, but I was able to figure it out and I think it came out cute. I ended up using like the pack of hair I bought came with six packs and I used three whole packs and maybe like a half of the fourth pack. So it was pretty good. Um, I have enough to redo like the perimeter if I wanted to and if I really wanted to I can really make it stretch and do a whole nother do in my head because my parts are pretty, pretty small but I like them to be kind of a smaller on the smaller side but yeah they're done they they feel light they don't feel crazy heavy the only heavy part is the fact that oh they feel light they don't feel crazy heavy the only heavy part is the fact that i wrapped them tight <laughs> so it's gonna be an interesting night of sleep I'm not looking forward to that but yeah i'm about to go to bed and i'll see y'all in a few hours because i need to rest I'm going to cut it tomorrow. I'm going to tint my brows. I'm going to do my lashes. I'm going to try to do my nails. We're going to try to get ourselves together tomorrow. Keyword is try tomorrow, today. It's almost just like 4, 10 in the morning. So, yeah, I'll see y'all later. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. Today is April 6th. It is 12.28 p.m. I'm up. Tell me why y'all, I get up. Mind you, I didn't go to bed until probably after five because I stayed up a little bit later watching Physical 100. Why y'all, I get up this morning at like 11, 11.30. I go to, you know, read my Bible, pray, started getting myself together, but I'm actually was trying to clean up my living room from last night because I left it in shambles, like with hair and stuff everywhere. I was like, let me clean up the living room. Then I'm gonna uh, hop in the shower, get dressed, and you know, head over to the Foodie Land event um, because it doesn't start until one o'clock today. And I'm like, you know, by the time I get there, probably be about three o'clock. But let me go ahead and check out their Instagram because yesterday was the first day and see how it went yesterday, see what vendors they had, see you know how the food looks, see if I really still want to go. At first, I was like, eh it's looking a little dead maybe not but you know that's just because it was the first day and I think they started at like 3 p.m. yesterday but like as the night went on it got more and more you know busy and I saw a lot of good vendors out there that I want to try so I was like okay yeah I'm gonna go it's why I start getting towards the end of this story because it's like 20 chapters long and I see that they say sold out for Saturday still tickets for Sunday I did not buy my ticket y'all I thought I was just gonna be able to buy tickets today and then I saw that they said they won't go have tickets at the door, so you have to buy tickets online. I don't know why I just knew I was going to be able to buy my ticket today. Luckily, they had tickets for tomorrow, so now I'm not going today. The day I wanted to go, I'm not being able to go. I'm going to have to go tomorrow. But I'm telling myself it's happening this way for a reason, for whatever reason. God don't want me to go today. He want me to go tomorrow, which, you know, will give me time because as you know, I still need to tint my eyebrows. I need to do my lashes. I need to do my nails. Um, I want to straighten up my apartment, like get some stuff in order, take down, you know, the TV box and stuff like that to the recycling. So I'm just telling myself that Instead, I don't want to stuff on my computer charger and it hurt my foot. 
I'm telling myself so instead of going today, because it's also a cloudy day, but it don't look like it's going to rain. I checked the weather, didn't say it was going to rain today. It's just cloudy. It also said it's not going to rain tomorrow, so that's fine. Um, but it do look a little windy, but I was like, that's good, because that means it's not going to be crazy hot. It's going to be a nice little breezy, but whatever, whatever. So, yeah, I'm not going to be able to go to the event today. Sad face. I wanted to go today because I wanted to try to go tomorrow for church. Um, they open tomorrow, I think, at one but i didn't book my session until 3 p.m because they stagger entry you can stay the whole day but they stagger entry and they're open from like 3 to midnight or 3 to 10 something like that so i'm just i booked my ticket it was only seven dollars like a dollar of tax so it's super cheap so i booked my ticket for tomorrow at 3 p.m so today i'm just going to clean up my apartment get my life in order Figure out what I'm about to eat right now because I was going to stay starving until I got there because I'm there for the food. It's foodie land. I saw some drunken noodles I want to try, um, an aragi place I want to try, this island wing place I want to try. I saw a lot of things that I want to try and I'm excited for tomorrow, y'all. But yeah, so I'm just going to go tomorrow and we're going to enjoy ourselves then. But as far as today... Like I said, I'm gonna clean up real quick, put on some some uh, music, clean up my apartment real quick, fold my laundry. Um, I didn't wash my sheets the other day, so I'm gonna take my sheets off the bed and wash them today. And I think I might've put back on my white sheets. I might still put back on the purple comforter because I'm honestly done with the white comforter. Like it's ripped some of the filling on the inside is coming out and it's just annoying. So I honestly think I'm ready to throw that one out. Um, but I think I want to put on my white sheets. So I'm going to pull all of that up, probably put on my white sheets and, you know, wash my comforter and stuff so I can put that back on the bed. And yeah. Um, so I might use today as a day to go out and look around as far as decor goes for like the living room. I might pop into Marshalls and see what they pillows look like um for the living room um i'm gonna hop on like amazon and wayfair and all of that to see if i can find some stuff to clutter up the entertainment stand because I, when i go physically in store i haven't been seeing anything i like so i think i'm just kind of trial and error to go ahead and find some stuff that i like let me sit down real quick but i think i'm just gonna have to trial and error some stuff like order some stuff to see how i like it as far as decor for the living room goes like trinkets and things for the tv stand i want to get something to put my games in i think i said that but like a basket or a box really a box some decor books and stuff like that um i like i checked out marshall's de deco books but yeah maybe i checked the thrift store and stuff like that i don't know i'm gonna figure it out but yeah i'm just gonna do that and yeah i i want to spend like hundred dollars like one one thirty I think is what I officially budgeted for right now for this paycheck at least um as far as living room deco decor deco decor goes as far as like trinkets for the entertainment stand maybe some more trinkets for the coffee table and pillows but pillows be expensive af like 40 bucks for like two pillows so I don't know. Oh, I want to see maybe if I can find an at-home store and go in there. And maybe we can kind of do that today and kind of get some stuff still done. That sounds exciting. But, um, yeah. And maybe I'll check out at home to see if they have any parcels in there. But I doubt it. But I'm going to go in there and look. And, yeah, that's, that's kind of where we're at right now. Sad face. I'm not able to go do the foodie land thing today, but that might also work out in my favor because I still need to edit to post for tomorrow and I haven't started that. So we'll be able to do that today as well. So yeah, I'm going to just clean up my apartment, straighten up my apartment and then, um, you know, eat something somewhere in there, take a shower and head out to take down this recycling stuff and then try to go to like at home and then after at home i'll just probably come home i'm just gonna go to that one store 
And then if I don't see anything in there that looks promising, y'all on my knee and my leg keeps slipping. If I don't see anything in at home that looks promising, then I'll just order some stuff off of like Amazon, Wayfair, as far as like living room trinkets and things like that, because I do want some nice deco pieces. The living room is coming together and I'm excited. It's kind of wanting me to like keep running with it. Because once I finish the living room, I can finally get new bedding and curtains for the bedroom because bar stools is always like if I see them order them right then and there but as far as like budgeting for things like to redo things it's um bedding is up next once living room is complete or semi-complete so yeah that's kind of where we at um yeah oh we could go to the pool today haven't gotten in my pool yet and I've been here since October it's like a windy day, so mm, I don't know. We'll see. I actually no, we won't go to the pool today because I already said all the other things I want to do today. So yeah, let me go ahead and put y'all on a charger and clean up my house real quick, get it in order, and start washing my comforter. That way it can be dry by the time I'm ready to put it on for tonight. And change my sheets to my white sheets. And yeah, that's it. So no foodie land today but tomorrow but let me go i will see you guys a little later i don't think i'm gonna show y'all tinting my eyebrows y'all seen me do that plenty of times i don't think i'm gonna show y'all doing my lashes because this is gonna be my first time using these particular lashes and i need to really focus and y'all see me do my nails so i need to show you those things but yeah it's probably gonna take me like i think last time my nails took an hour Lashes probably take 30 minutes. Eyebrows, I can have those on while I'm doing other stuff. So right there, probably about an hour and a half to do that stuff. Looping, showering. It's about two hours to get ready and do all that stuff. And it's basically one o'clock now. It should only take me like an hour to straighten up. Well, it's 12.30. I need to eat one o'clock. So one o'clock, I start getting ready. Two, three, we'll be done by three to head out the house. I'm gonna hit some traffic. I'm gonna hit some traffic. Maybe I'll save that home for tomorrow because I'll already be out and it'll be something for me to do before I go to Foodie Land or after Foodie Land. We'll see. Either way, I'll check in with you guys after I've cleaned up and after I've eaten. So I'll see you later. Um, I just want to come back and show y'all my hair. I put it into two very loose, very rough pigtails, ponytail. Did a little quick little gelling at the edges. And yeah, I ain't cut it yet. Just a little snip. But it's cute. And I found these two seashells that I had. So I just put in the two I had. It is cute though, right? <laughs> I can't wait to show y'all the different styles and stuff. And these ponytails don't even hurt even though my hair is tight. But yeah, I'm about to clean up. See you later. I don't think I meet them at the places I be, but deep down I think I'm